Okay, this video is going to focus on being outbid, outbidding yourself, and placing bids on lands that uh, that have some action going on in them. So if you see here, uh, you can see the nine squares that I bid on in the last video. They were my initial bids. They're still holding strong at eleven or at, at one thousand mana. Um, but if you look over here, you can see a few parcels of land that I have bid on pre previously, uh, but have been outbid. Uh, they show up in, in, in that purple color. Uh, I've decided that, uh, that I want access to that piece of land again. I'm going to bid on it. So I click and I'm automatically populating, uh, or it automatically populates with a bid that is 25% greater than the previous bid on that parcel of land. Uh, that is the minimum increase in bids, uh, always and forever. So I'm okay with that. I'm going to bid on it and it heads over to my pending confirmation list. Uh, going forward, there are, I've decided I hold shift down and I want this piece of land, this piece of land, and then for whatever reason, I really like these three guys here. So I like these three, but I've decided that I don't want these two. I'm able to edit and remove these pieces of land individually from my list by finding the number. That's 38, there it is there. I click the X, and if you can see, it disappears from my list. Great. Now, I also think that negative 30 and five, that's gonna be a very valuable piece of land. 1,000 mana is just not gonna do it. For whatever reason, I decide that I'm gonna to have to stake 10,000 mana to it. I do that by editing using the edit button and it changes the bid to 10,000 mana. Great. Uh, I have been able to make these bids now. I click confirm. I triple check my information in MetaMask, sign it off, and there we go. Lots of blue, which I like to see. My new balance and a list of all of the existing plots of land that I have bet on. 